Hello YouTube, this is My Bass is Louder Than You, aka Stereo Head. Uh, I'm coming to you to explain um, how to hook up an equalizer to a 4 channel amplifier. And what all goes into it. Now as you, if you've watched my other videos, which a lot of you may not have, you would know that I have <laughs> three different equalizers. Okay. This one right here is for my mids and highs. This one right here is for my sub. And that one right there is also for my mids and highs. Okay, so how do you hook these up? Okay. On the back of your deck, you have what is known as outputs. RCA outputs, to be exact. Okay. Now, if you notice on most EQs, you look at here and you see there's only one input on them, but there's two outputs. In other words, four channels coming out, two channels going in. Okay? And then you also have your subwoofer out as well. Well, most of them what they do is you have your one channel going in and then it basically splits everything inside the EQ. Um, basically, you're going to hook up your one set of RCAs that's coming from your deck to the front or the rear, it does not matter, on the back of your deck and run it to the main in on the on the EQ. Now once you got that done then basically you're gonna run two sets of RCA's out from your EQ. This is gonna go to your amplifier in the back. You have a four channel amplifier therefore you have four channels. Each one of these is a channel. Okay. Now like I said I have more than one EQ so from here what happens is mine actually come off of here as you can see they're right there okay and they come into these what is known as a, a Y splitter okay and what this has here okay is it has has two female inputs okay and then the male inputs go into the female okay and you know you have one that, that comes up basically you're combining both the front channels into one so you can actually hook them up to something like this which only has two channels and if you want to run a four channel so you have a rear and a front still you run them like this so then you put that in there which is actually very very uh, okay just like that so now you have four channels converted to two channels so they can go into your amplifier here or I mean your equalizer here. Now, once they come back out, obviously, you're only going to have two channels again as it comes out. So you make sure that the one that you put for the left channel, which for me, my left channel is my fronts. You have your front come out of the left channel output right here. Also, you're going to use another Y splitter, as you can see. And they go into your RCAs that run all the way back to your amplifier and you plug this into the front on your amplifier. You plug this one into the rears. That's basically all there is really to it. And why would somebody want to do this? Well, if you really want to, you know, tune everything to your liking and really have a lot of flexibility as far as being able to do so, well, the more you have, the better, in my, <laughs> in my opinion. So I have one here for the mids and one here for the mids and highs. And as you can see, this one right here is a bit better than this one. This is only a seven-band EQ, which is which is fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Me though, I have to tune it in a lot better and a lot more thoroughly. That's where this baby comes in, because this is a 30-band. All right, 30 bands of equalization instead of just seven, and it makes for a lot more sound quality, a lot better sound quality. All right, and that is my short video on how to hook up an equalizer. If you have any questions, obviously just leave me a message and I will get back to you on my, th on my uh, YouTube here. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. And subscribe and I will talk to you later.